More than 20 people have been killed and dozens injured in a suspected twin suicide blast in Iraq's capital. Police said it happened in a market in Baghdad's Tehran Square. The death toll is expected to rise. Some of the wounded are in a critical condition. Suicide bombings had become a rare occurrence in the capital. The last one was back in 2019. Simona Fulton now joins us on the phone line from Ramadi now. And Simona, details are thin, uh, but what do you know so far? Well, we understand that the incident happened just before noon in a busy commercial area in the central Baghdad at a time when people would have been out and about uh, doing their business, doing shopping. And uh, from what we know is that there was a twin blast with this first suicide bomber uh, feigning sickness to attract uh, people to help him. Uh, he or she then detonated uh, the bomb. And then, of course, uh, this is a very uh, common tactic deployed by uh, suicide bombers, then when people, more people came to help, then the second uh, suicide bombers allegedly detonated the, the second uh, bomb. So uh, we expect this, the, the death toll is still going to rise with uh, several people being in hospitals with, uh, with critical injuries. And the incident uh, comes as quite uh, a shock to, to many Baghdadis, because since uh, the territorial defeat of ISIL in 2017, we haven't really seen many suicide bombings in uh, the capital. Prior to 2017, there used to be uh, frequent uh, attacks, which were claimed at that time uh, by ISIL targeting busy restaurants, busy shopping districts. But uh, those have largely ceased, and life in the capital has, over the past years, uh, really returned to normal. We have seen concrete barriers to protect buildings come down, and, uh, and this uh, attack really uh, does come as quite a surprise. Now, nobody has claimed uh, responsibility yet, although the attack does bear uh, the hallmarks of uh, ISIL. Of course, ISIL has in the past years really been uh, pushed, uh, you know, back deep into the mountains. They are very, uh, they're not really capable, um, uh, they were thought to not be capable to be able to carry out such attacks in urban settings anymore. Um, so uh, it remains to be seen who claims responsibility uh, in the end. But it is important to mention that there are still uh, sleeper cells that operate uh, in rural uh, and urban areas. Just a few days ago, there was an announcement by the security forces that they managed to apprehend an ISIL leader in uh, Baghdad. So uh, while their capabilities have been much reduced, uh, there still remains a presence of sleeper cells of ISIL. And of course, we have to wait for an official claim of responsibility and for security forces to carry out their investigations to really uh, know who is responsible. And it remains to be seen whether this will remain an isolated attack or whether it heralds a deterioration of security in the capital. All right, Simona, thanks for that for the time being. Simona Fulton there uh, reporting from Ramadi.